Do I have to say hi, this is Sarah Groves or anything like that? Hi, thanks for visiting Free CCM. I'm Sarah Groves and thanks for sending in questions for me to answer today. I um, the first question comes from Joanna May and she's saying, I'd love to hear about your songwriting process. Do you write melodies first or lyrics? Um, do you write anywhere or do you sit down and write to write a song in a certain place? So um, I get that question a lot about my writing process and for me, um, different people write different ways, but for me music usually comes with the lyrics. So if I have a lyrical idea, music comes with it. and um, if I write music without lyrics, it almost never ever gets finished. And that's just, I don't know, something. In, if I write a melody uh, and it doesn't have lyrics, it's really hard for me to go back later and add lyric to a melody that exists. Um, I don't know why, I just have a hard time doing that. And even later on in the writing process when I have a song kind of finished, roughed out, if I have a lyric missing, that's the hardest part for me is fitting a lyric to a melody that already exists. Um, just a little interesting tidbit about my writing <laughs> process. I write, write almost everything at my piano. I have a piano room in my house, and and I always have. My mom had a piano room at our at the house in my house growing up, and so um, that's where I wrote, write almost everything. I do you know get ideas when I'm driving or in the shower or wherever I am. But usually I, when I'm actually writing the song, I'm at that piano or in in my piano room with a guitar. So. That's where most of it happens. And Troy, share any tips for growing such a luxurious beard? Seriously, it's a good looking beard. Thank you, John, I appreciate that. I think it's an awesome beard. And um, people are sometimes shocked that I love it so much. Um, my mother-in-law uh, is just stunned that I am encouraging him to grow such a massive beard. But um, I love his beard, but Troy uh, doesn't have to work very hard to get a luxurious beard. He's, he's kind of like a chia pet and uh, he grows, his hair grows very quickly and um, it's actually, that's like his five o'clock shadow and uh, so uh, it doesn't take much, he kind of just like, wish I had a beard, boom, beard. <laughs> Jay Langston asks, I love the sound of right now on the new album but it seems to end way too soon. This, was, this song actually wasn't finished and I was talking with Steve Hindelong who was producing, who produced uh, Invisible Empires and um, Steve and I both felt like it was a really good message and a, a strong idea and it wasn't finished and I kind of said, you know, I don't really at this point have more ideas for the song. And Steve said, let's just put it on the record like it is. And so I'm really glad we did that because I think maybe maybe on future records I might revisit that song, maybe finish it out, but um, sometimes you've kind of just said what you mean. <laughs> and with that piece, um, I kind of feel like that's what I meant. I'm blaming everybody else for my problems and what God wants for me, I could do in a paper bag. So I need to just, I need to do what God calls me to do and not blame everybody else for my problems. And so I've kind of already said, <laughs> you know, what, what I meant in that song. And I, so I don't know if I'll add to it or not, but um, that's what happened. It was just basically not finished. But when will you be touring in Canada? I'm headed to Canada soon, actually. I'm headed to Toronto in a couple weeks. Okay, someone's asking, Monica asks about the song Finite. Um, that was a really uh, sweet song to write because I was with a, a good friend, Jill Phillips. And we were at dinner with her family and her husband and I, and I was down to co-write here in Nashville. And um, we were just talking about life as, as moms with kids, and we each have three children, and they're pretty much the same ages. And um, there's just so much insanity <laughs> when you have kids. They have sports and the schools have events, you know, almost every week it feels like. And so she was just saying, um, I'm finite, I can't do all this stuff. And, and as soon as she said the word finite, I, I, was, I said, I love that word. It feels like that word is a song. So we sat down for the next couple hours and just, we started out the song um, kind of uh, in your face, Shaka Khan. That was our, our first, the first line of the song says, I'm not every woman, it's not all in me. And so we're kind of answering back to Shaka Khan who wrote the song, I'm every woman, it's all in me, and uh, um, we kind of went from there. So just writing about, um, I'm finite, I come to an end and I can't pretend that I'm anything but absolutely ridiculously finite <laughs> with a lot of stuff on my plate. And the record is a lot about that, just not, 
not um, taking on more than, you know, God, like who's requiring this of me and am I taking on stuff that I'm not supposed to take on. Someone asks about how I got my start, uh, Megan. Um, I used to be an English teacher. She's writing about um, where does someone start when they feel called to do music. Um, it's hard for me to translate my journey to someone else because um, a, a huge part of my journey is Troy. And um, when people ask me how they how do they get their start, I usually say, well, first you marry Troy Groves, which clearly not everyone can do. <laughs> so, um, but for me, and and that's not true for everybody, but for, in our story specifically, he has always really carried the vision for us right from the very beginning. Um, he had a vision, and I was not reluctant, I wanted to do, I wanted to share music, but I didn't have any vision or idea of how I could possibly get from my piano room to a stage sharing for people. And um, he did, he, he could see, he could see that. And I don't, I still don't have that ability. And he still does. He's from the very beginning has carried that vision for us. And he still has the ideas of where we're headed and what we should do next. And um, I mean, we talk about it and we agree on it, but um, he just has always had a vision for me. And so I, um, it's not just, he's not, the, it's not the kind of partnership where he just punches me in the arm and says, you can do it, honey. And that's like the way he supports me. Um, he supports, his support for me is really um, the whole thing I, in my mind. And he does everything but play the piano and sing. And so he sets me free to be a mom and, and uh, to do the work that I do. And, and I really feel like God wanted us to do this because he put us together to do it. And we're kind of in a three-legged race for life in our work and obviously our marriage, but in our work, you know, God's called us to work together. And that, that can be fun. It can obviously be a challenge too, but um, that's, that's uh, probably doesn't mean anything to your question. <laughs> How do you get started? Um, I would say when I see people out and I just was out with Jenny and Tyler and they're amazing and um, they're just a husband and wife duo that sings, and um, they just are working really hard. It's a, it's a lot of hard work, and, and we did that the first three years. We were just out on the road, and um, if people listened, then we then momentum grew, you know? And so I think um, one way to get started is to start. <laughs> start playing, let people know you play, and, um, and then work from there. And do you have a fun one? Is there another fun yeah, one? Yeah, I'm there? trying to see. Hey, ladies. Monica asks, maybe Monica the same Monica, maybe this is Monica twice, or it says Monica too, maybe it's another Monica. Um, have I ever thought of writing a book um, and what would be the topic? Um, I, I have actually, I had a contract once to write a book and it's a, there's a lot of brain damage in writing books. I, I, I can tend, I can get out a three minute song but writing longer articles are, it takes a lot of work. and. Uh, I think just the season of life that I'm in with being a, a mom is so, um, pulls me in so many different directions, but someday I would love to sit down and write a book. I don't know what it would be about. Um, I love to read, and so I read these great authors, and it, it makes me want to not want to not want to write a book, <laughs> because I don't know that just be, being a good songwriter makes you a good author, um, but uh, someday I would love to, um, I would love to share the faithfulness of God in, in this journey that I've been on. I think that would be the theme of any book that I wrote um, because he's made space for me and uh, and I think he does that in people's lives. He makes our path straight and I've, I've lived that out in a really visceral way where he's provided for me. Um, and I would love to just recount those stories. I try to tell my kids those stories and I, I would love to sometime document all the ways, the miracles that God has done. Um, and, and just leading me on this incredible journey. Thanks for your questions. <clears throat> Bye, buddy. Where should we go?